Let's talk about this interesting study that I found the other day. It showed how a super simple protocol of really just one supplement, optionally two, was able to lower leaky gut markers and intestinal permeability significantly. Let's break down what the researchers did, what this supplement was, and what it means to your gut health protocol. Okay, so this is the study and it built on the idea that heavy endurance exercise, especially in hot conditions, is known to make the gut lining more leaky. This happens because blood is shunted away from the intestines towards your muscles and because the rise in core body temperature stresses the gut cells and damages the tight junctions that normally keep the gut lining sealed. So this was a controlled way to induce leaky gut and the researchers tested both zinc carnosine and colostrum to mitigate the effects. Each participant went through four different phases. In one they got a placebo, in one they got zinc carnosine, in another they got bovine colostrum, and in the last they got a combination of zinc carnosine plus colostrum. Each phase lasted 14 days with a break in between so the effects wouldn't carry over. After each 14 day period, the participants had to do a tough exercise protocol designed to raise their core temperature by about 2 degrees Celsius. That's enough to trigger the kind of stress that makes the gut more permeable. The researchers measured gut leakiness using the lactulose to rhamnose ratio in urine. This is a test where you drink a solution containing two types of sugar and if your gut permeability increased, more of the larger sugar, so lactulose, gets through into your bloodstream and then shows up in your urine. So here's what they found. When the volunteers took the placebo, their intestinal permeability tripled after the workout. So their guts became much more leaky. But when they had been taking zinc carnosine for two weeks before the exercise, that rise in permeability was reduced a lot. Colostrum also helped about the same and both zinc carnosine and colostrum together were even better and showed the biggest benefits. To quote the paper, after 14 days of treatment, the increase in permeability caused by exercise was reduced by 71% in the zinc carnosine alone arm, by 68% in the colostrum alone arm, and by 85% in the zinc plus colostrum arm. In the second part of the study, the researchers then did experiments in the lab using intestinal cell cultures that were exposed to heat. They found that raising the temperature made the cells die faster, disrupted their tight junction proteins, and lowered the electrical resistance of the outer layer. So all signs of a weakened gut barrier that were to be expected. When they added zinc carnosine, many of these harmful changes were reversed and it increased the production of a protective protein called heat shock protein 70, which helped stabilize the tight junctions again. Now, of course, this was a small study and who knows if it will even replicate in the future. But fortunately, it isn't the only piece of evidence that we have. Zinc carnosine has actually been studied for decades, originally in Japan, where it was used as a treatment for gastric ulcers. What the Japanese researchers noticed was that it seemed to stick to damaged areas of the stomach lining and promote healing. Then over the years, more animal studies had shown that it had several actions that are good for gut health. I will talk about this in more detail later in the video. Also in experiments with intestinal cell lines, zinc carnosine was found to speed up the migration of cells into a wounded area, which is a key step in sealing up tight injuries in the gut lining. It also encouraged these cells to divide and multiply so the lining could regenerate faster. When animals were given certain drugs, which normally damaged the stomach and intestines, zinc carnosine protected the tissues and reduced the injuries. Now, all this data brings us to a very interesting question. How exactly does zinc carnosine do this? And why not just take a normal zinc supplement? Well, the reason is that zinc carnosine is an entirely different type of chemical complex where zinc is bound to the amino acid carnosine. This chelated structure changes how the supplement behaves in your body. As the research showed, zinc carnosine seems to stick directly to the gut lining, especially at damaged spots, and then releases its zinc more slowly right where it's needed. That local action is very different from normal zinc salts, which are quickly absorbed into the bloodstream and then spread throughout your body. So by lingering on the gut lining, zinc carnosine supports the healing of the barrier specifically. Besides that, the carnosine part of the molecule has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. And together, they have a stronger effect than just zinc or carnosine alone. Also, because zinc carnosine acts locally, 
It is effective at lower doses, which means less side effects that some people might get from normal zinc supplements. Now, for your leaky gut protocol, this means that next to glutamine, zinc carnosine should be your go-to supplement. If you're on regular zinc already, I would probably try switching to zinc carnosine, especially for situations where your gut is under a lot of stress. So for example, intense exercise, heavy use of ibuprofen, or specific infections that make the gut lining more permeable. In terms of dosing, typical research doses have been around 37 to 75 milligrams of zinc carnosine twice a day. So 75 milligrams to 150 milligrams total. And this will give you around 15 to 30 milligrams of elemental zinc. Of course, that doesn't mean zinc carnosine is a magic pill. The study was small and we still need a larger clinical trials in people with chronic gut issues, just to know how well it works in those cases. But the data is definitely promising and because they didn't just test zinc but also colostrum, I would definitely check that out as well. Just make sure to get a quality product since colostrum is such a delicate substance. Also, before I end this video, don't forget to check out the video description for more free resources and my programs. They will help you if you're looking for step-by-step -step systems on topics like diet planning, detoxification and chronic fatigue recovery, and how to avoid the most common mistakes that I see beginners make all the time. For more info, just open the description. It will all be listed there.